to those who are coming from abroad. Uh, our research, I, first of all, I would like to acknowledge Carlos Suarez Valcedo, who is my colleague and who also uh, collaborated with me in this paper. And he has 15 printed copies, copies of the presentation in case anyone would be much interested about it, you can uh, afterwards uh, look for that copy. Uh, the problem that we stated for this research is basically um, a, a challenge. Uh, we think and we are very convinced that using web uh, 2.0 tools for teaching and learning in LIS education is crucial. Uh, because uh, we all know the technological dimension of the field and the growing influence of this platform and the applications in libraries and other information units. Uh, the research questions that we post are also in the context of the curriculum review process that we are managing at the program, at the graduate program, and uh, also concurrent with the trends and practices of uh, a group of uh, librarians that in are engaged in community of practice in the University of Puerto Rico library system. So we pose these three questions. What changes do the Web 2.0 uh, implies for LIS education in light of the new trends of libra librarianship practices? In which ways are LIS academic programs integrated these tools into the curriculum and teaching strategies? And more specifically in the uh, school at the University of Puerto Rico, in which way are faculty using these resources for innovating their teaching and learning uh, strategies. Our research objectives are basically four, uh, assess the familiarity of the uh, faculty with uh, the web 2.0 concepts and applications, assess their perception regarding the potential of these platform and tools for the teaching and learning process in LIS, explore in which ways faculty have integrated the tools into their teaching and learning, and identify which barriers they perceive as uh, affecting the use of uh, Web 2.0 in their academic work. The conceptual framework of our uh, research is basically putting in the centerpiece, uh, obviously, the Web 2.0 as a revolutionary paradigm and uh, platform which is influencing, obviously, as uh, we have been reading and, and, and listening to other uh, research here, the Library 2.0 movement, and as well, the University 2.0 movement and consequently, in our field, the LIS curriculum, and as well, yeah. evidently, the influence and, and pressure it puts on the faculty to change the teaching paradigm and practice. So we made a very uh, ample literature review, uh, basically, of the web 2.0, uh, to understand how is it a platform that it's uh, built uh, and expanded and uh, enhanced while we all users improve and, and use all these utilities and uh, recognizing that it's a system to leverage kind of collective intelligence. Uh, the Library 2.0 movement, which obviously we are very uh, acknowledged uh, about it, and where is it going? Uh, pushing for innovation and for practices and user-centered services. The University 2.0 movement uh, as well, which is changing the pedagogical paradigm and is uh, proposing that higher education, uh, it's an ecosystem and uh, that uh, the University 2.0, with all these platform and utilities, is practically transforming learning, teaching, and assessment. And then the uh, impact on the LIS curriculum and the professional 2.0, which is uh, another view of a student-centered approach, transforming all the teaching and learning uh, practices of faculty. Uh, as well, the comparative studies that we um, searched for and that were very interesting in terms of uh, showing different trends and use uh, worldwide of Web 2.0 in LIS education. The method that we use, basically, uh, it's a qualitative uh, research, a, a transversal collection of data, observing what faculty have done, and as well, um, a, a, we put a questionnaire online, uh, both with open-ended questions and uh, closed-ended uh, questions, which gave us very infor uh, valuable information. Basically, the familiarity that we um, confirmed that the faculty uh, has about uh, the tools and also the perception that they acknowledge not only the importance but also uh, the significance of the blocks, for example, uh, the most potential for education and uh, perceiving that there is a shift in education. And then the integration of these tools, mostly uh, Google tools, digital video, blogs, web conferencing, social networks. Most of the tools that have been used are, promote, uh, are used for promoting interaction socialization, participation, and collaboration among the students 
And then the barriers perceived are, are basically time. Not necessarily training uh, was perceived as a barrier, but as well they acknowledge, the faculty acknowledge the need for updating and keeping abreast of the different trends and um, innovations. So conclusions, uh, <laughs> practically, you know, we feel very well that uh, it's being uh, recognized and that we are all engaged in this process and uh, learning to learn with the students as well.